I'm thinking maybe we should go out tonight and celebrate. Oh, right. Celebrate being debt-free by spending a load of money. Oh, it doesn't have to be a load of money. Well, I'll look out for some champagne then, shall we, when Fresh goes back in big. Who champagne? What's the occasion? Oh, I think I might have sold my garage. Hey, pints on you later, then. It's not been confirmed yet, so let's just hang fire, shall we, before we start eye-rolling. Well, a romantic meal for two at the bistro is not going to break the bank, is it? Sorry, I meant, I meant you and him, not, not me and him. Yeah, well, I'd rather eat fish and chips in the street than be served by that sneaky cow, Erica. So I'll, um, I'll see you later and I'll cook us something nice, OK? See you later. Put her and Erica were mates. Is there something up? I think it's nothing. Well, it doesn't sound like nothing. Tell me it's not what I think it is. You better not have Kev. Nothing happened. Not really. After all she's been through these last few months. Very smart. Thank you. Honey, listen. You know, I've been thinking maybe I should talk to Kevin. About what? About what? About a guy who's coming to view the gym. Why would you do that? Well, I don't know, honey. It just seems like it's the honourable thing to do. Well, you know what they say. All's fair in love and property sales. And where'd you get this ruthless streak? It's not ruthless. It's business. Yeah, I know that. But Kevin, he's a mate, and I don't want him to think that I've somehow double-crossed him. Well, would he warn you if it's the other way round? <sighs> I don't know. You know, maybe. And maybe not. Look, you've not even sold the place yet. Why make a fuss? You are a very smart lady. Mm. And what's the thing they say? Behind every great man, there is a great woman. Mm. And you are wasted in that bistro. I'll be better behind a shop counter, would I? Well, not forever. But just till I made plans for your new job role. Project manager. The expansion of my kebab shop empire. Hmm? Hey. Hmm. What? Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Well, wish me luck. You won't need luck. You will have them eating out of your hands. <laughs> okay. hmm. This time next year, we're going to have the whole of Willowfield eating out of our hands. <laughs> How did he take it? Oh, don't tell me you bottled it. He made me an offer I couldn't refuse. I wasn't sure about ending it anyway. Then Dev offered me a great new job while he expands the business. It's a good opportunity. You can't stay with somebody because he offered you a job. Well, it's not just that. You said yourself, he's a decent bloke. And he believes in me. Maybe that's being a bit hasty. Mm. It's up to you, if you're sure. Hmm? Why would you get your picture taken with a load of scrap metal? When I heard the most awful grinding noise. Oh, it sounds like it could be a clutch plate. I'll have to take your gearbox out and have a look. Oh, clutch plate. Sounds almost romantic. <laughs> Shall I leave her here with you? Uh, probably for the best, yeah. Oh, actually, I've got a job lot of dailies in the back. Won't be a minute. Three breakdowns in a row for me. You're next. Uh, I'll go if you want. You can stay here. I've got a few cars. No. Right, Tim. Right, mate. Save your lectures, please. You said your piece. I don't want to talk about it. I'm just worried about Anna, that's all. I'm not going to fall out with you over this. I told you. We're fine. Good. I just wanted to be happy. You and all, for that matter. Anna knows it was me who put the blockers on with Erica. That it was her making all the running. Booking the secret hotel rooms, not me. Fair enough. As long as you're both all right. Hey, how are you, man? How are you? Yeah, good. Thank you. Look, here's the uh, spec. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for taking the time. 